If you're not at the top of the food chain, everything is trying to eat you in order to survive. You either have to be fast, good at hiding, or get creative. The electric eel has developed a shocking but effective defense mechanism. It can generate high-voltage pulses of electricity. So what happens when a vicious predator like the caiman, the Amazon's equivalent for crocodile, tries to take a bite out of an electric eel? Will the caiman get the shock of its life, or is it lights out for the cranky caiman? Electric eels are able to deliver a powerful shock due to the high voltage of their electrical discharge. When an electric eel bites, the electrical current that is released can cause a painful jolt in the victim's body. The voltage of an electric eel's electrical discharge can range from 9 volts all the way up to 860 volts making their bites some of the most powerful in the animal kingdom. The electric eel is a curious fish that can generate a large amount of electricity. This fish is not an eel. Despite its name and appearance, the electric eel can use its electricity to shock predators and prey. This fish can also use its electricity to help it navigate in murky water. Electric eels are actually not eels at all. They are part of the gymnos to form us family of knife fish and are more closely related to a catfish or carp than a traditional eel. Up until 2019, it was believed that there was only one species of electric eel. However, an expedition found and classified two more species, Electrophorus vari and Electrophorus volti. Electric eels can grow up to 8 feet long and weigh as much as 44 pounds. They are found throughout the northeast of South America, including the Amazon and Orinoco River basins. Electric eels love lurking through slow-moving freshwater creeks and swamps. They use their secret superpower to stun and kill their diet of fish, shrimp, amphibians, and sometimes even small mammals. The indigenous tribes of Venezuela, called the electric eel arimna, which means something that deprives you of motion. Tribesmen used to drive herds of wild horses into the eel-infested ponds. The horses' hooves would churn up the mud and bring all the eels to the surface, where they would leap out of the water and attack. The tribesmen would wait until the swarm of rapidly discharging eels had run out of juice before jumping in and catching one or two for dinner. Alexander von Humboldt, a Prussian explorer, became fascinated with electric eels after witnessing a mystical creature in a remote rainforest village in Venezuela called Lucianos. In an effort to test the strength of the electric eel shock, Alexander set up a series of crude experiments. There were no voltmeters or amperage meters, so Alexander would simply grab the eel and rate the power of each electric jolt. After four hours of experiments, Alexander reported that his muscles ate and that he felt shocks the next day. Despite knowing the power of the electric eel, he was still surprised by the results of his experiments. Electric eels have three pairs of specialized organs that allow them to produce shocking amounts of electricity. The main organ, located in the eel's upper abdomen, is responsible for the majority of the electrical output. The hunter's organ, located in the eel's lower abdomen, helps to produce smaller electrical pulses. Finally, the sock organ, located in the eel's tail, helps to store electrical energy. Electric eels are a fascinating species of fish that are able to generate electricity. These fish have a special organ in their bodies called the sac's organ, which contains modified muscle cells called electrocytes. These electrocytes are arranged in rows, similar to the cells in a battery, and allow for a current of charged ions to flow through them. This buildup of current charges the electric eel, allowing them to emit a steady stream of weak electric pulses. This electric field is used for communication and active electrolocation, which is their way of seeing in dark, murky environments. Electric eels are able to generate two types of voltage attacks, high voltage pulses and low voltage pulses. These high voltage pulses act like a taser, hijacking the animal's nervous system, causing the prey to violently twitch in the water. This sudden movement generates waves that reveals the animal's hiding place. Low voltage pulses, on the other hand, are used to detect near by prey or predators. When a disturbance is sensed, the electric eel will emit a low voltage pulse to determine the location of the threat. Eels can disorientate fish very quickly. This shows three thousandths of a second. The eel to the its meal can become incapacitated as soon as the word is referenced. Oh, and if the electrocution is not frightening enough, by curling up the electric eel can make your shocks even more intense by overlapping the electric flows generated at each end of the electricity organ. You're not just in danger in the water either. Electric eel are known for taking a dive and turning their beak on, increasing your shock level. 
Why is this? When an eel is completely submerged, the current is going to be conducted as a result of the fluid running the eel loop. When they leap out of the water and press their chin, the beneficial pull towards its target. The electrical current is forced up through the body for civilization of the negative pole. An experiment was conducted in which scientists used an electric arm fitted with sensors that had to light up when activated to gauge the matter. This was then put in a container, and when the field left from the whole water sample, causing the longest discharge from just underneath the chin. How were you at handling electric shocks? Are you brave enough to swim with an electric eel? Tell us below. So we know electric eels regularly take home small fish, but how exactly do large animals fare against it? Curious dogs are no match for the static energy of an electric current. In fact, a single shock sends this German shepherd yelping in fear. But it's the Amazon Cayman who holds the most frequent encounter with the electric eel, and it could be a flip of a coin who loses. The warning pulses of the electric eel hinder the Amazon Cayman's race toward the target. The hungry reptile gets caught in a spasm for a few seconds, then quickly gets on his feet again. Other times, it's not so lucky if it received a bite on the eel. As it receives the high-voltage shocks, its jaw clamps shut and the pair are locked in. After each of the caimans loses its muscle mass in spasm, the reptile's heart finally gives out. Could this electronic eel finish off a human? We've been testing how much electricity can be transmitted through a shock from an eel, and in fact, the jolt may prove far more painful when administered to a live eel than when applied in an experiment setting. While the reports of people in South America being electrocuted by a small eel in water are usually discussed, the news has not yet been formally documented that someone has been losing money to an eel as a consequence of running away. So why not handle a single eel and not be concerned about the possibility of wandering into a Venezuelan swamp? A researcher recently went out to the Amazon islands and found that electric eels work as a team to deliver a mighty jolt of power to repeatedly shock their prey during hunting parties. Up to 100 eels took part in the hunt, with each animal surrounding its prey with a massive electric ball and then shocking them with excessive amounts of energy. I think I'll take a nap on the shore. If you're acquainted with the electric eel, you understand why it's also known as the taser of the Amazon. It is one thing to play darts against this thorny little knight, but quite something if you're any type of 11-year-old boy. Unless you're a fan of electric shock, you're much better off staying away from water. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts at the end of the video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification for more videos.